the late 1800s, the small town of Skane was the site of a revolution in Danish art. Artists from all over Scandinavia came to paint the life of the fishermen and the strong, bright light. The combination of the sand and the water and the reflection of the sun gives this very strong light that you can see in the paintings. And that makes the light extraordinary up here. And that's why people today is coming to Skagen to see this special light. The artists were also attracted by the fishing culture. The tough life and drama on the sea made for excellent motifs. And because there was this dramatical situation, of course, among fishermen that sometimes they drowned it when the, when the water, weather was terrible. This is the drowned, and this is a, a typical situation of the life of fishermen also, that, that it's not without risk you are, you are doing this job. It's, it is a realistic situation, I would say. But the paintings from Skane were not only about the life and death of the hard-working fishermen. This painting is made of uh, P.S. Koya, the most famous uh, artist in the Skagen colony. And this is the, the motive is uh, Skagen South and Beach evening uh, walk at Skagen South and Beach. It's, uh, it's like the beach is never ending, it's just going down the country. You will see it at the beach. If you are at the beach in the evening, in a summer evening, you can exactly see this kind of light and this uh, this atmosphere. So I understand why many people are coming here to see that painting actually. So. In Copenhagen they found these paintings terrible in the beginning. They found that they were too, dark, uh, too bright and uh, they, they were not fond of showing them at the saloons in Copenhagen city actually. So. But by the time it became the famous paintings because they showed the future in the way of working in art. They showed the impression from Paris and the French movements by this time, the Impressionists. 